I'll show you how to export your images and compositions using Affinity Photo on iPad. With the document open, I can tap up here to access the document menu and choose Export. This brings up a comprehensive export dialog where you can configure your export format and all settings pertinent to that format. The format defaults to PNG up here, but as an example, I can switch to JPEG. For each format, there are various presets available, which can be accessed here. I could try the high quality preset, which will significantly reduce the estimated file size down here. The quality can be modified either by tap dragging on the radial button or by tapping once. This second method allows you to input a specific value with more precision. You can also resample the exported image size using the width and height options here. By default, they are linked so that the new width and height remain aspect correct. As with the quality option, I can tap once to input a specific value here. The resampling method can also be changed. You can try by cubic or one of the Lantzos methods if you want sharper resampling at the expense of a longer export time. For JPEG, you can also enable progressive encoding here, which makes the resulting JPEG more suitable for web delivery, allowing it to be previewed gradually whilst it downloads. Speaking of previewing, the preview option at the bottom right here will bring up a full screen preview of the exported result. This is especially useful for analyzing JPEG encoding and making sure you are satisfied with the quality compromise when trying to produce smaller file sizes. You can zoom in and out using a two finger pinch gesture. Then close the preview when you are ready to move on. It's worth noting that each format will have its own specific options. For example, TIFF has a compression option to help reduce file size. The compression is lossless, but can sometimes noticeably increase export times when working with larger resolutions and higher bit depths, such as 16-bit per channel precision. In this case, however, zip compression will reduce the file size down to around 10 megabytes from 30 megabytes uncompressed, which is a significant saving. Once you are happy with the export settings, there are three different ways of exporting from this dialog. Tapping OK will bring up the Files dialog, allowing you to save directly onto your iPad, iCloud storage, or another storage solution. Tapping Share in the bottom left will use iPad OS's Share extension, allowing you to send directly to other apps, airdrop to other users, and save to your Photos library, files, or cloud storage with the ability to configure this list. However, another approach for those who prefer drag-drop is to tap-drag the format label you want to export. In this case, I'll tap-drag TIFF, then I'll swipe up at the bottom of the screen and move across to Photos. I can then release my finger to export this TIFF image and import it directly into my Photos album that I have here. You can do this with other apps as well, such as Mail. For example, if you wanted to attach a JPEG to an email. And there we go, a quick look at exporting your work with Affinity Photo on iPad. Thank you for watching.